hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really really excited today because I'm doing my first haul. Woo woo! As you've probably been able to guess from the title, it is a boot haul and I have this massive bag full of stuff that I have bought yesterday. You know how it is, you go in boots for one thing and you come out with like a basket full of things that you don't even need but you somehow do. So I thought well why not make use of my awful spending habits and make a video. So let's get into it. The first thing that I've got in my bag of goodies is these, is it Alua Alua false lashes and they're just this ones here and I'm not sure which ones these are. It says texture number 117, feather like feel and reusable. Now I've never used false eyelashes before, big shock I know, who even am I? But I thought it'd be a good idea for a video to let you watch me put them on for the first time. So stay tuned for that. I'm guessing it's probably going to be a disaster. The next thing I have got is random lucky pick. Oh, this Tony and Guy men mattifying putty. And it is this one here. And I got this for Martin because it's one of his favourite hair products. And I'm a really good girlfriend trying to earn those points. So that's for him. I also got him some deodorant, but I've given that to him. So that's it his. The next thing that I've bought, let's have a look, is this ooh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Just this one here. And I've never tried the Fit Me Concealers before or the Fit Me range, I don't think. Not too sure, I don't think I have. And I picked this one up and this is a new shade apparently in, I want to say ivory. Oh, it just says Maybelline Fit Me Concealer 05 and that was 5 99 So I'm excited to use this. The next thing that I have got is boring things. Corsadil Extra Fresh Toothpaste. This one here. I am currently obsessed with teeth hygiene. Tooth hygiene, is that, is that the right sort of phrase? I am super, super paranoid that I have really bad breath and that might be too much information for you, but we're keeping it real. I'm just going to tell you how it is. I am super paranoid all the time. I don't know why. I just feel like I always have like bad breath. <laughs> this is a lot of oversharing, but it's fine. So I wanted to try this because I saw it on TV and give it a go. So. There we go. The next thing that I've got, oh, this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and this is the transparent one. Yep, so it's just this one here. Oh, a bit of glare, just that one there. And I got this because, obviously, if you've seen my last videos, you know that I've been looking for a new powder for ages, and I remember hearing a lot of people talk about this a long time ago. So I thought, I'm gonna play it safe and give this a go. I'm very excited to try this because a transparent one, I feel like, is perfect for not leaving those patchy marks on your skin. So yeah, I'm really excited to give that a whirl. Next thing is, what is this? Oh, it is the Fit Me Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation. And I got this in 102, and does it have a shade? Fair Ivory. So it's this one here. And I found it really difficult to actually find my shade in this because looking at the testers, I felt like a lot of them were more yellow, had yellow undertones, whereas I'm more of like a pink undertoned foundation girl with like, I have like really rosy cheeks and like I go really red. So I found it really hard to pick one, but this was the only one that I could find in like a light pinky shade. So yeah, I'm looking forward to giving that a try. And it does say normal to oily skin. I don't have oily skin, but I'm hoping that this works okay. So yeah, stay tuned for a video with me testing this out. Next in my random goodies is, oh, this is the Sleek Face Contour Kit. Press contour and powder and highlighter in one. It is just this one here. And I don't know whether I'm gonna open this because I wanna do a video with these products. Let me know if you can guess what sort of a video I'll be doing. Leave me in the comments below. So I don't know if I'm gonna open it and show you just yet. I have another sleek contour palette, which I absolutely love and swear by. So I feel like this is gonna be like a good fit. Although I did pick it up in the shade medium. I can't remember if I did that on purpose when looking at the testers like if i was like oh this one actually is the best one for me or if i've just been stupid and picked up the wrong one i'm hoping it's the first one but knowing me it's gonna be way too dark but we shall see in the next video next thing i have in my bag are 
dental floss. Here we are back again with the, you know, obsessive tooth, teeth hygiene. Flossing is actually something that I don't do regularly. I mean, should I be ashamed to say that? How many of you floss on the regs? But recently I have started flossing and it is life changing. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because it's kind of gross. I mean, I'm gonna pop this in my bag and whack it out after my dinner, basically. And this one is just the Colgate Total Pro Gum Health. So there we have it. Next to my bag is, ooh, is the Obsession Makeup London Eyeshadow Palette, which is this. Oh, ooh, that was an awful glare. Let's take it out. And it's this, and it's like a marble effect. And I, again, I don't really wanna show you the insides because I wanna do a video. So please don't hate me for like teasing you, but you will get to see it soon, I promise. Um, the brand Obsession Makeup London, I've never ever heard of before and they must be new to Boots because this is the first time that I've actually gone in and you know seen the whole range which looks just amazing and I did some research on them and they are cruelty free and vegan so yeah I'm really excited to give this a try. I love eyeshadow and this is a really big palette um, so yeah really excited about that. Next thing I have in my bag Ooh, is this NYX Born to Go Liquid Illuminator. Just this here. And I've never, ever, 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 ever used a liquid illuminator before. So, again, I'm really excited to try this out. I'm a bit worried that I might not be able to nail it on the first attempt. I kind of feel like, is it going to drip down my face? Is it not going to blend well? Because, as you know, I am not a highlight enthusiast, but boom. I'm working on it and I'm starting to love it so I thought I really want to give this a go and yeah if you've used before give me some tips on how you apply it because I'm a bit lost at the moment so anything would help. Next I have another Obsession Makeup London Brow Pomade um, and this one has a double ended brush and it's just this here and again I did a stupid thing and I think I've picked up the wrong shade. Usually in well, in my Maybelline brow satin pen, I'm a dark brown, but in this I picked medium brown, but I did look in the little tester pots to see, like, which one would suit me, and I picked this up, so, again, I'm hoping I've done this on purpose, or I've just been stupid and picked up the wrong shade, so, yeah, typical me, I get really excited about something, and shit goes out the window, and I end up the wrong stuff up. Oh we still have quite a few things left in here. I did spend far too much. So the next thing I have in my bag is some Lady Essentials, some Wilkinson Sword Quattro for Women razors and these are Raspberry Rain so I'm guessing that's like a scent infused razor and they're just them there and I don't really need to say anything about this you know we all use them or we don't whatever floats your boat but yeah I'd run out so I need some more and that's that. Next to my bag I have another Obsession Makeup London product and it is a lip kit and it is a lip liner and liquid lipstick in the shade Booty Call a Cheeky um, and if you can see that's just the shade on top. Again I don't want to get this out to show you because I want to do a video you know with some of the stuff. To me this looks like, um, like a nudie purple sort of shade which I kind of have on today if you can see but I don't have many of them and I thought hmm I could do with some more of those so yeah this one looked really good and I'm really into lip kits at the moment and I just think it's really interesting to see like all the different brands bringing them out and again I want to try more of the Obsession products because I've never used any before. Next I have this NYX two timer cool pencil liner and felt tip liner which is just this one here so one end is um, a felt tip liner you know I love, you know I love my collection felt liner and the other end is a coal so I thought that would be great for you know if you're doing like felt liner wing and then like coal on the underneath or if you just want to use one or the other um so I felt like that's just like a perfect product so why not get two in one instead of just the one. Okay so again you're gonna find this is so I feel like this is such a boring haul but it's a toothbrush <laughs> what can I say it's a toothbrush but I do find this one interesting because it is a pulser one so I think you, it's not like an electric toothbrush, but it's not like a manual toothbrush. So you like press the little button on the side and it kind of like pulses and I don't even know what that does. Does it say what it does? Generally stimulates gums and cleans teeth. 
and that's about it. Yeah, I thought I'll try one of these. Martin's got one and he didn't buy me one. How rude. So I thought I would join him and try one out. So that's another teeth product. I told you I was obsessed and I'm pretty sure there's actually another one in there. So sorry. Oh, we only got three things left. So the next thing I have is a mascara and it is the Barry M That's How I Roll Waterproof Black Mascara, specifically designed brush to lift and curl lashes. And it is waterproof because I love waterproof mascara because I'm just such an emotional person that there's a lot of, there, I mean, there's a high chance that I will cry at some point while wearing this. So um, yeah, waterproof is my best friend. I'm really excited to try this actually because I don't think I've ever used a Barry M mascara, but if I'm honest, I rarely use Barry M products. Actually, that's a lie. I use their nail varnishes quite a lot because their nail varnishes are just amazing. But in terms of makeup, I actually don't use that many products. So I'm interested to use this and see what this is like. Next, I have got, yep, yeah, I was right. There's another tooth mouth product. And it is the Breath Core Fresh Breath Chewing Gum with sweeteners and it is these here. Let me tell you, I tried one of these yesterday when I bought them and they taste like crap. To be honest, it says it is a citrus mint flavour. First of all, I'm not really into citrusy sort of flavours like um, lemony sort of flavours um, unless it's a cheesecake and then I'm all for it. But when it comes to like sweet sort of thing that you have to chew I don't like it then it said citrus mint so I was like mm, I like mint things I'll give it a go yeah it is like absolute crap the taste lasts for like 10 seconds it's like a hubba bubba do you remember those where you bite into it it's like oh my god this is like so nice apart from this wasn't nice and then you chew it for 10 seconds and it's just the taste is gone and you're chewing on rubber basically I got these because it says that they fight odour and yeah, I'm um, just obsessed, like I said. Oh, I've only got one thing left, and it is this NYX Professional Pore Filler Primer. This one here, and I was kind of sold by the picture on the back. Like, is that really fickle of me? Um, if you can see, probably not, there's quite a glare. The picture on the back shows a before, someone with, like, quite open pores, which I do suffer with. And then after, it's, like, flawless, um, Photoshop skin. And yeah, it might just be me being really naive to think that this might actually work. But some primers do, you know, exactly what they say and do that. And it's NYX and I love NYX. So I'm putting my trust in them and I'm expecting good things. Yeah. And that is everything in my haul. So I'm sorry if this was a bit like repetitive with just makeup and um, teeth products. I'm really sorry, but that's what I got and I wanted to share it with you guys because I love hauls myself, I love watching them, particularly makeup hauls because I like seeing all the different types of products that people use. So let me know if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up, um, comment below obviously your recommendations for using the NYX Illuminator and what you think my next video will be with these products. I would love to know your ideas. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye.